So let's have a real talk about physical media and ownership because this whole idea of ownership is something that gets discussed a lot, especially when they compare it to digital media or streaming services. And this is primarily for people who might be on the fence on whether or not it's worth getting into physical media and they only do digital type of media or streaming services. And so this is gonna be my own thoughts and ideas on this. So before we get into this, let me just kind of show you some of the physical media that I own and specifically Blu-rays. And these are just some of my favorite movies that I've enjoyed over the years. So here we have Die Hard. Uh, I have the Lord of the Rings uh, theatrical collection. I will be getting the extended cuts later. And then here, Top Gun, love it, In the Danger Zone. And here we have The Last Starfighter. This is definitely a cult classic, a hidden gem in my opinion. The Goonies, such a fun movie. Office Space, one of the best comedies out there, but it's also a reflection of reality for anybody who's worked in this environment. The Rock, Michael Bay, Nicolas Cage, Sean Connery, what can you say? Tron, revolutionary when it came out, and I still feel it's revolutionary today. And here I have my Star Wars trilogy. This is from 2004. Unfortunately, this is based upon the 1997 special edition, but still love Star Wars. I will be getting the limited edition uh, DVD version that has the original theatrical versions. So those are just some of the physical media that I have and I have many others. So now let's go ahead and get into this discussion of ownership because at least for these right here, these physical media, whether it's this Blu-ray, or this collection of DVDs, I physically own this in here. So I could take these movies out. I could do whatever I want with them. I could watch whenever I want. I could buy, sell, trade them. And if I wanted to, I could even get rid of them. You know, I could do whatever I want because physically I own these discs. But what I don't own is the contents, the properties, you know, all the movies and stuff. And that is the same no matter what platform or what uh, media that you're actually watching these on. You own the physical stuff. You do not own, obviously, the rights to these movies and properties, which is really important because this comes into the whole world of streaming and digital media. Because if you haven't noticed, whenever you have these streaming services, it's quite often really difficult, at least nowadays, to find everything in one place because now there's so many different streaming services. Before you would go to Netflix and you would basically have every movie and show that you would possibly want to watch. But ever since the studios themselves started their own streaming services, they've slowly but surely taken away a lot of these uh, properties away from Netflix and also created their own. And of course, Netflix has basically become their own studio with Netflix originals because they knew that this was coming and this was gonna happen. But even then, Whenever you have these streaming services and you feel like you could watch these movies whenever you want, even when you quote unquote buy them, the reality is just like these right here, the content is not owned by these companies unless the streaming service themselves is the studio who actually created and owned the intellectual property. In the end, you basically have a license to rent this. And technically, this is a license for you to watch it on this physical medium but the difference is I own this physical medium. Whereas if it's digital, even if you quote unquote buy it, you only own it for as long as the distributors or the platforms have the license to show you these movies and shows. So that's why it's becoming increasingly more common for movies and shows to get pulled off of these platforms and there's really nothing you can do about it. And this is where we have been and where we're heading really quickly into the future where you basically own nothing and you're going to be renting everything. And that is a world that I definitely don't want to live in. And so that is why, you know, I'm definitely going to build back up my physical collection. I used to be a big, big collector of movies back in the day. Everything from VHS to Laserdisc to DVDs to Blu-rays now and you know whatever other mediums gonna come in the future. As long as it's physical, if it's something that I really love and enjoy and I wanna make sure I have it uh, to use, then I'm gonna get it in physical media. 
And so if you are on the fence on getting into physical media, I highly recommend that you, you know, look into these things and kind of see what true ownership is. And also years down the road, when you're like finally thinking of all these movies that you've enjoyed in the past, well, if you actually have them physically and you have something to play them with, then you could still enjoy them for hopefully years and years to come. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave in the comments area below and I'll see you on another episode. Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips including marketing. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.